How's it going guys? So um, before I go any further with this video, you need to understand that when Tyson Fury says something, you need to take it with a pinch of salt because he has a, a long, long, long history of saying one thing and doing the other. You know, he's that kind of he's that kind of individual. So you can never really trust his word, can you? But according to Tyson Fury and according to recent reports, he is. Uh, announced that he's going to be fighting Manuel Char when he makes a comeback. Now, recently, I believe today, he was over in Germany uh, trying to negotiate a fight with Char. They had a, a what looks like a silly little um, staged event where Manuel Char walks out with his with his entourage and, you know, his, his theme song playing. Yes, Manuel, Manuel Char actually has a theme song. I found that hilarious too. But yeah, Manuel Char walks out with a theme song. And goes up to Tyson Fury and basically squares up to him and challenges him to a fight. Now, this this would actually seem quite believable at first glance because Manuel Char has a history of doing this. He he has a, a long history of uh, calling out heavyweights to their face. You know, showing up at their press conferences and you know going up to them. He's he's not quite as loud and as uh, obnoxious as someone like Shannon Briggs, but he he does. He does kind of impose himself on the heavyweight division, okay? He does show up to these guys' fights and uh, challenges them ringside and stuff like that. I remember when uh, he was set to fight Vitaly Klitschko. And uh, even though he was set to fight Klitschko, he showed up at one of David Hayes' press conferences when David Hay was returning to the sport and uh, called him out to his face. Yeah, shook his hand and said, listen, after I whoop Vitaly Klitschko, I'm going to whoop your ass and all that. And I'm just like, he, what he actually said, he said, he said I'm going to destroy Vitaly Klitschko then I'm going to whoop your ass. I mean, yeah, needless to say, he's a, he's an overconfident individual, Manuel Char, because he's basically a domestic-level heavyweight that, <laughs> for some reason, sees himself as an elite-level heavyweight. But I like it, you know. I like his confidence. You know, he's one of these guys who... He's not afraid to challenge himself, put it that way. So, yeah, i got no issue with, with Manuel Char and the way he's uh, conducted his career. You know, the guy's taken tough fights. Um, he, you know, he's won some fights, but he hasn't really beaten anybody uh, top level. I mean, the guys he's fought that, that were top level, like Klitschko, Povetkin, um, uh, who else did he fight? He fought Maris Breedis as well. well. You know, those guys, they, they basically, they all destroyed him. Now, uh, and I forgot to mention too, I, I remember actually when uh, um, when Vladimir Klitschko fought Alex Leopai, and, and Char actually beat Alex Leopai too, but... When Vladimir Klitschko fought Leopai, Manuel Char was ringside at that fight, and he actually tried to get into the ring to call uh, Vladimir out, and uh, the the security stopped him. Um, I believe he was also he uh, he called out Povetkin ringside at one of his fights, and that was how that fight got made. And um, you know he, he's just he's one of these guys. He's constantly calling people out. Uh, you know, showing up to the fights. He's a you know he's a guy who's not afraid to get in your face and call you out. You know, that kind of individual. So. Um, but yeah, um, th that's why I would have thought this would seem believable. But after the posts I've seen on Twitter where uh, he's, he's posing for photos with Manuel Char and then, you know, the guys are all buddy-buddy and whatnot, it it's clear that this was a, a staged event to try and get this fight some promotion and, um, yeah, try and promote Tyson Fury's comeback. Now, whether the fight will happen or won't happen, I really don't know because, like I said, this is Tyson Fury. Okay, he's a, a very volatile individual. You never know what he's going to do. Um... Where will the fight take place to? Now, I'm assuming that the fight will take place in Germany, actually, because Manuel Char is, is based in Germany. He actually does have quite a few fans there, but, you know, he's fought all over the place. He's fought in Russia, fought in Germany, he's fought in, um, where else has he fought? Was it was it Ukraine? He's, he's fought all over the place, man. I, I remember looking at his record a while back, but, but the majority of his fights have taken place in Germany. I know that, and that's why I mention it, because... That's where his fan base is, and that's where Fury is uh, over there trying to promote this fight. So, I'm guessing that they're probably going to fight in Germany. Oh, well. But the British Boxing Board of Control, as far as I know, they haven't granted Tyson Fury his license yet. So, um, you know, I don't know if the fight will be able to take place in England. That's why I'm, I'm thinking perhaps he might go over to Germany, because I think it's easier to get a license there. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens here. Do you guys think it's an okay fight? Um, personally, nah. Tyson Fury is in shape. He will smash Manuel Char to pieces. Okay, easy fight. Now, Manuel Char, don't get me wrong. He, he'll come to fight. He'll let his hands go. He'll do something. He'll give it a good go. But unfortunately, you know, he cuts easy. Um, you know, he's he's quite short for the division, at least in terms of 
you know, the, the top level fighters. I mean, you put him in there next to Tyson Fury. I mean, Tyson Fury towers over him. He dwarfs him. I mean, size difference is immense and the weight difference and whatnot. So, I think it's an easy fight for Fury. I think he could just stay on the outside and just outbox Char easily. Win a comfortable points win. If Fury's in shape, he'll get the stoppage. I mean, let's not forget, Vitaly Klitschko stopped this guy in four rounds on cut. Uh, and that was an old 42-year-old, partially retired Vitaly Klitschko. So, um, yeah. Also, Alexander Povetkin put him to sleep. Manuel, um, what's his name? Maris Breedis, the cruiserweight, put him to sleep. Um, you know, Manuel Char... You know he's not he's not an elite fighter. He's not he's not a a, a legitimate heavyweight contender. To me, he's just a uh, you know a tough guy, a hard man that comes to fight. And uh, but I suppose for a comeback opponent, it's not bad. Um, you know, nah, that's all there is to say. Uh, I don't know if it will happen, but you know this is Tyson Fury, so we never know. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want to see this fight? Do you think it's an okay fight? Let me know what you guys think. And thanks for watching.